Okay, today we're going to have a short lesson on diversity. So once you've downloaded the skin tone uh, file from D2L, let's bring it into a comp and take a look at it. And the first thing that we'll want to do is do a general color correction. This overall footage looks pretty good as shot in camera, but we can make it a little better. Add synthetic aperture and let's go into the full interface. And if we look at the RGB waveform monitor, we can tell that um, that red and green are matched up pretty well, but our blue is a little weak, which makes sense because DSLR cameras tend to go a little yellow. So let's first adjust that. So we'll click RGB and we will just bring up the blue gamma. A little bit and we'll check to see how that looks and that's pretty good okay next thing we'll do is we'll go into uh, curves and we will set our black and our white level and then we will just raise up the, the toe of the curve just to kind of bring up the highlights just a little bit and let's see if that looks better okay that's a little brighter and snappier with some good shadows so we will click OK next thing we will do is we will duplicate the layer and we're gonna create a mask over everyone's faces get a good sampling of their flesh tones oops undo Now we have a good sample of all the representative nations. We'll click off the bottom layer so that we can have just the flesh tone showing. Now what we need to do is we need to go into our project and we need to drag that comp into another comp so that uh, Color Finesse will recognize the mask. And we will call, I'll hit return so I can rename this and we'll call it Skin Tone plus CC for color correction. We will open that up. We will add color finesse to that. Go into the full interface. And if you look at the vector scope, you will see that all of that flesh tone, this is the skin tone line right here, that all that flesh tone goes right there. So just go to composition, save frame as, and create a, a single uh, Photoshop layer and post that on D2L.